can't. It's a hazmat, absolutely. It's a hazmat. So, you know, people need to understand what's going on because a lot of time they think, well, these people just have got so many bad things to say. They never say something good. Well, number one, there are good people everywhere, including the billionaires. There's a lot of people out there that are military people, billionaires, and uh, people that are scientists that are restraining this from getting a lot worse. It could be far worse than it is already. Far worse. Now, the thing with, with the TEPCO, though, in Japan, that's the most shocking is not that it happened because it was, you know, there's an accident and then there's not purpose. This was not purpose. But the fact that absolutely nothing's being done by our government because we're being dosed with radiation constantly. It's like somebody spraying a hose on us with, say, hydrofluoric acid that burns your reach to the ball. But nobody's doing anything about it because Obama's sitting in the White House. He's having lots of parties. And he's thinking, no, I'm not going to deal with that. I want to watch ESPN and look at the blogs and see how many people worship me today. They won't monitor anything. They won't monitor the fish. Uh, unfortunately, UC Berkeley is not doing a very good job now. They've pretty well faded away. So they won't respond. Uh, no, they, they, no, nothing. No, they're not responding with appropriate water testing, air sampling. And, in fact, I contacted when he was back in Germany last uh, summer, the director, and after I spoke to him, he won't return my calls or emails, and I'm just simply saying, just give us some data. Come on the air for 10 minutes. Uh, discuss what you're doing. What are you reporting? What are you finding? And, in fact, uh, we know that there are standards that they were quoting based even on the EPA, which was the level of radioiodine-131 was two picocuries per kilogram, and it turned out that uh, the standard was, uh, was, uh, was the three picocuries. It wasn't the 81, so it was off by 27 times. Um, so... Yeah, obviously that situation is getting ridiculous. Now we have a, a nutraceutical. We have a protocol for what you can do to protect yourself because the key is not whether you're getting exposed to some radiation because we all are. It is whether or not you have enough nutraceuticals and enough lifestyle and clean water to detox yourself and your body to cope with it so it can replace the organelles and cells that are damaged. That's why it's so dangerous for the unborn. Uh, it was estimated, and it's probably much higher than they said, that uh, at least 14 to 20 plus thousand children died under a year of age within three or four months after Fukushima in America. So the mortality rate in the intensive care nursing went up 40% plus. But what about the unborn, which is probably hundreds of times even more sensitive event, but there were probably many thousands, hundreds of thousands of spontaneous miscarriages that occurred right after the poisoning with radioiodine, cesium, strontium, etc., that destroyed their health. And again, look at small animals like birds, squirrels, etc. That's why the songbirds in Japan are dying, because cesium replaces potassium and magnesium. So their birds will go into heart failure. They'll have neurological problems because the, the, the proper salutary nerve conduction can't occur. They'll have cardiac arrest. They'll have myopathies. Their muscles will get weak, but they can't fly. Um, you know, all these things happen. 